you believe in UFOs? When you see unusual lights in the sky, do you ever wonder what it is or whether it might be from out of this world? The Coachella Valley is well known for unusual sightings in the night sky, and it turns out there might be a reason. The valley is right next to an extraterrestrial hotspot. In a remote area of Southern California's Mojave Desert, strange things seem to happen in the starry sky. You're just standing there flashing. Do you have any idea what it is? Nice. I hope I got it. <laughs> there you go. We thought that was the weirdest thing ever. So. People are documenting what they say are unidentified flying objects. We traveled to the area where these sightings are happening to Giant Rock, arguably the largest freestanding boulder in the world. It's in the desert north of Joshua Tree. This was a, a place where a family of three lived, George Van Tassel, his wife Ava, and his three daughters. And it's also a place where they had UFO conventions. Barbara Harris is a UFO researcher. She says in the 1940s and 50s, as many as 15,000 people would show up to hear Van Tassel speak. He claimed to have contact with Venus and flying saucers. They would people from all over the United States, all over the world would migrate to this area. That's what's so amazing. You know, you have this giant boulder in the middle of the desert. Giant Rock is located near the 33rd parallel, a latitude of 33 degrees on the globe, where both the Bermuda Triangle and Egyptian pyramids also fall. Harris says this is no coincidence. On that 33rd parallel that circles the Earth, that is documented as the most UFO sightings that happen. People claim they've seen some type of objects flying high in this part of the desert and they can't explain what they are. He uses the words power up, and the thing just starts going and starts pulsating and gets brighter and brighter in the sky. I looked up and I saw what I thought was a satellite going from north to south. It was uh, like an average sized star in the sky moving, but when it's moving against the backdrop of the Milky Way, you know it's not something usual. When I see something strange in the sky, I, you know, I'll immediately go and I'll, I'll look and say, is that, a, is that a satellite? And when it's proven it's not a satellite, or it's not a flare, or it's not a helicopter going by, then my mind immediately has to go, what is it? These experiences are not uncommon in the high desert. About 16 miles south of Giant Rock is another hot spot for UFO sightings the Joshua Tree National Retreat Center. People who stay here say they've seen mysterious activity. The area which is just up around the base of the mountain right there, and then up in the middle, just right in through there. And then that's that section of sky, I said, right through there, going that way. These balls of lights are only seen during the evening, moving at high speeds and disappearing quickly. And that's proof for UFO believers. That we are not the only living beings in the universe, that there are going to be other beings. Whether or not you believe, thousands of people are still coming every year to Joshua Tree and Giant Rock in hopes of seeing an anomaly in the night sky, ready to document their experience and contribute to the mysteries that may lie in the high desert. A big UFO conference is scheduled this August in Joshua Tree. More than 1,000 people are expected to attend, both UFO enthusiasts and professional speakers, all talking about the mysteries that may lie in our desert. Jetzal Puente, KMIR News.